Hi. Okay, I'm sitting on the very edge of my bed. Hey guys, it's yeah. Jada. This is gonna be a long video. Hey guys. I could let you have it. You could be my heaven. You could be my woman, right? I don't want you heaven. Anytime I know you're living in the home. Anytime I know. Hey guys, it's Jada, and so today I am here filming a New York City Q&A with the guest artist. I just woke him up from his nap, so he should be good and ready to go for this um, Q&A session. He's playing with my moisturizer. <laughs> you wanna play with it? Okay. Go team. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is answer some of you guys' most wanted questions. I don't know. Hopefully he stays in a good mood this entire video, and then I'm gonna feed him after this so that He's not super cranky. First question, what are your plans while you're in New York? So currently my plan, <laughs> you wanna play with this? Okay, so I plan to honestly just keep on auditioning for things and just keep networking and building my skills. Um, I'm also taking a lot of dance classes currently at BDC, so I really love that studio. I really love that studio and I'm getting a lot out of learning and whatever. So I really love dancing there and yeah, growing my skills and really just like experiencing life. Um, I think experience is, is one of the best teachers ever. Having experience and just kind of doing things on my own and networking and doing all this stuff on my own while living in a city and taking care of this one. Um, yeah, that's what I plan to do while here. It's super great and <laughs> Super fun and um, yeah, I wouldn't trade it for the world like I wouldn't rather be in Charlotte honestly like doing nothing But yeah favorite thing about NYC so far my favorite thing No, we're not touching that my favorite thing about NYC so far My favorite thing about NYC so far definitely has to be the experiences that you kind of develop like even if it's the relationships that you develop on the train or just like anything random I feel like just the social aspect of New York City is just the best. There's people of all kinds and you meet people everywhere. So um, no matter where you go, you're definitely bound to meet someone. I'm definitely a people person. I love being around people and um, do you need more toys? <laughs> um, um, yeah, that's what I love about New York City. It's the best thing. Uh, yeah, just the people and being here just makes me feel like I'm living my life, you know? So, yeah. My next question is, and honestly, this is like a New York City Q&A because everyone asks things about New York City, but there are some like random questions thrown in there. So we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> do this. Next is, what's your biggest fear? Um, I said this in my last vlog, but like I literally didn't know that I was this afraid of cockroaches. Like it's actually the worst, and in New York City is the worst place to have that um, fear. I hate cockroaches. They're actually the worst things ever, and I am genuinely terrified of them. What are you looking at? And they're kind of the worst so yeah but other than that my biggest fear would be not fulfilling my life and just living a really monotone is that the word monotone life yes <laughs> living a really like unfulfilling life and not inspiring people and not making it the best life that i could have made it that would be my biggest fear do you have something to say what's your biggest fear not being fed not being diaper changed mm. ah what are you most proud of? Okay, obviously I think graduating early definitely was something that I'm really proud of just because like that took a lot of work, but honestly I'm most proud of the fact that like I was able to move to New York City, obviously not by myself and not um, without the support of like friends and family and whatever, but like I did it and like I'm here and like I'm thriving and I'm doing what I love to do. So I'm most proud of that for sure because it's like I did that, you know, and like I'm 17 living my life, it's kind of the best, so. Yeah. <laughs> Who inspires you? I don't really have a specific answer. Let me see. As far as like social media and like things like that, all the people that I follow on my Instagram are people that inspire me on my public Instagram because those are the people that I aspire to be and aspire to work with, you know? I draw inspiration. That's why I'm very selective on who I follow on my social media just because it shows a lot about what I want to see like in the day, especially. Are you waving at the bottle? What do you want? I want water. You're just... Wa Yeah, so, no, 
Next question is favorite place to eat in New York. Oh my gosh, so I'm so glad you asked this. This is like the only place that like I trust my entire life to. Like I'll go there all the time. I'll recommend it to friends and family and literally everybody because it's the best. Um, Mock Bar in Chelsea Market. I will eat there all the time. I can go ahead and expensively spend my money just to eat there because their ramen is seriously the best. It's the best. It's the best. Yeah, you guys have probably seen it in my vlogs already. I go there literally all the time. I've been there I think three times already since I've been in the city and um, it's kind of a journey to get down there. So the fact that like I am making the trip to go down there is um, Yeah, they part of the city um, My favorite part of the city also has to be like the Chelsea Market area and like I really like Washington Square Park area um, Anywhere in Midtown honestly just because it's really just nice and lively. I mean, I like my area too, but like I wouldn't avidly stay up here as opposed to going to Midtown. What is this shirt doing? I don't know, but like my skin does so bad with transitioning and all that stuff, like when I'm in a new place and all that stuff. So um, I've been breaking out so bad, you guys might not be able to tell because this camera just does me justice, but like I just like have breakouts everywhere and like I'm doing the best. Like my, my skin can recover pretty quickly, so that's why it's not as bad right now. But yeah, I don't like how the city is just so disgusting and makes my skin disgusting. And what is my least favorite thing about New York City? The least favorite thing is the dirty air and um, the dirt E. Just the dirty. It's dirty, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really dirty. Um, there's trash everywhere. <laughs> um, city to live, best city on the planet Earth, yeah. Um, um, the next question is, are people in New York really as rude as people say they are? Yeah, I feel like there's always gonna be people like just negative, you know? I'm trying to be in the frame so I'm like leaning back but I'm about to fall back ass words onto the floor. Um, why are you putting my pants in your mouth? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's always gonna be rude people, but at the end of the day, people in New York City are honestly some of the nicest people in the world. Um, I think you can easily connect with people anywhere and you can just start talking to people like anywhere and they'll start talking to you and it's really, really nice. I like the feeling of feeling like I have a family and like people that I can talk to even when I feel lonely in the city. But um, yeah, I can always find people to talk to, hang out with, and all that stuff. And that's what that's another part of why I love the city so much. So yeah, but no, people are not as rude as they say they are in New York City. And my friends can attest to this. I met them at Mock Bar. They're the Berlin boys. And they, um, they were like, no, people in New York City are actually really nice. And they're from Berlin. So if they say it, it's true. Um, how is it living in New York? Are you happy? Um, Yeah, how, how is it taking care of you? How do you think? Do you think you're easy to take care of? Silence. Now you're silent. Now you choose to be silent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, but I love living here. I love the family that I live with. They're the best. It's, 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Why are you so happy? You can't let me focus on my video, bro. No, but I love living in New York City. It's honestly the best. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else at this point in my life. And I am super happy, despite, you know, the moments here and there where I just feel super lonely and whatnot. But I mean, gotta get through those to get through the, the high times, you know, so. But everything's been like smooth sailing so far for the most part and life is good in the hood. <laughs> what are you yelling at? Let's get you another toy. Here's my moist, my other moisturizer. Okay, what is my biggest dream? My biggest dream is to star in a series or like a TV show um, <laughs> as like a lead role or like in a movie where there's like a lead role. Like I like a lot of like high school films and like I feel like I, I can portray a high schooler, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah, I really wanna be in some kind of movie or something really, really soon or some kind of um, Broadway show. Um, Broadway right now, it's just, I don't know if I'm interested. Like, I'm very interested in performing, obviously, but I want to join a show when I feel completely, completely, like, passionate about it, you know? I don't want to just join a show just because it's a job, but I want to join a show because I'm really going to love it. So, yeah, there's always big dreams here and there, but for sure to be performing in something huge or starring in something huge. And I also want to, like, start choreographing things while in the city. 
um, I want to start like teaching soon and like doing all that stuff while up here and Yeah, those are all my dreams. I guess <laughs> Next question hardest thing about graduating early the hardest thing about graduating early was most definitely The social part of it. I went through a really hard time graduating early just because friends <laughs> do this because they're not friends but I just don't know what else to call them friends that were my friends almost made the excuse to just like drop me off because I don't know people get scared when they see you doing big things and then when they're not they get jealous and then they just kind of live their own life and they're all still back in Charlotte I don't know doing who knows what I don't pay attention I don't care I really honestly like I wish them the best but I live huh <laughs> I live such a great life now and like this is my reality and I just would not want to trade it for the world You know so that was such a hard part But I did have to get through that hard part of just dropping everyone off because honestly it would be so hard to hold on to all these like pointless What? It would be so hard to hold on to all these pointless relationships back in Charlotte And I could just make new friends and do new things, you know while in the city. Yeah, that was the hardest part for sure the work it was easy to kind of graduate from my high school if I'm not gonna lie. So again, if it was that easy, my friends could have just on the people who were just like hating could have done it too, but they just didn't choose to, and that's their freaking problem, not mine. Next question is how is pre-adult life? Um, if I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm already like in adult life. Um, even though I'm 17, like I'm doing so many things on my own and I don't know, like living my life, I guess. So like I, and there's a lot of adults that are my age and older who I don't consider adults because they just don't do things for themselves, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I feel pretty independent and pre-adult life is going really great and um, smooth sailing thus far since I don't have to pay rent while up here. It's um, actually really, really nice. Next question says, did you ever think about quitting YouTube? Um, okay, no. I never thought about quitting YouTube long term. I always thought about taking breaks and like I've done that in the past. I've never ever thought about quitting YouTube because it's just such a passion of mine and I enjoy filmmaking and content creating so freaking much. So I would never trade that for the world and I will always, always go back to um, creating something. If I ever get into dark places, I feel like creating something and filming things are always something to just get me out of what I'm going through. I never thought about quitting because YouTube is honestly one of the best parts of my life and I love it so much. So yeah, I would not trade it for the world. Where do you see yourself in 10 years and will you ever make and sell merch? Um, I see myself in 10 years living a good life. Like I don't like to plan things super like full out. Like two years ago, I thought I would have a family in 10 years, you know what I'm saying? But like now things have changed. Um, so I don't know. I don't know where my career is going to go and I don't have any, I feel like planning my life to the T is just not a smart idea as opposed to just living the life that I live and just getting there when I get there. And I think that's a smart mentality to have in like a hustle bustle city like New York City. So um, yeah, seeing myself in 10 years, I honestly don't know where I could be. Like I could be in a million different places because I just, I, I don't know, there's so many different options and um, um, variations that could occur, so I have no clue. I see myself being very successful and very financially comfortable and being able to support my family and yeah, that's good. And will I ever make and sell merch? Okay, here's the thing. I can make and sell merch now. I just don't know if people would buy it. So let me know if you guys would buy it because I don't know, I know a lot of people that would buy it, but I don't know if it's enough for me to even go through the hassle of making merch, but I would make some cool stuff. And that's all we're gonna say about that. So let me know if you guys want merch. <laughs> then last question is, well, what do you find attractive in a boy? I think that having a passion is one of the most attractive things just because you're driven about something and you're willing to go through the work to, you know, get there. And um, my ex, never really had like an actual passion for anything it was always just kind of me doing everything i'm doing and then he was never really you know doing anything so that was one big problem that i had with that entire thing because it just never you know it never worked yeah so i think having a passion is great loving kids because i love kids and they're the best seeing someone who's not afraid to be themselves you know um with me and um you have to have a good personality i get really annoyed with personalities and you have to have a nice voice i get really annoyed with voices also now, i don't have a specific race type or anything like if you mean like a type but um yeah i like men i like i like men 
but yeah that's it so hit me up if you're in new york city and you know want to talk um, that's about it for this entire uh video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed isaac he's just been in his own little world isaac say hi to the camera <laughs> i'll do it for you and that's about it for this um q a i think we had a good time didn't we I just wanna see you dance, girl. I just wanna, uh, yeah. I just wanna shine like my.